Hi my ladies, Susan Davis here, Prairie Girl Lifestyle. I hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm getting ready to go to my Zumba class. So I have my Zumba headband on and my workout shirt. And I thought before I go, I'm going to try this peacock eye makeup look. I had posted a video yesterday on this look, but the video got all messed up. It was all funky. So I took it down. I'm going to redo. So this is going to be a peacock eye tutorial for us aging ladies. Yes, let's not be afraid of bold colors on our aging eyes. We can do this. It'll be fun. So if you watched my video about turning 60, my thoughts on turning 60, I talk about being a peacock because that's who I am. I like to strut around and show my feathers. And so I thought, what the heck, let's do a peacock eye tutorial. So uh, I've got all my makeup done and I can post down below what I have on my face. Uh, as far as the eyeshadows go for this tutorial, no particular brand. I just looked through my stash to see what I had. Had to try to find some greens and blues. Uh, I've got purple here, I got white, and I have a really cool shimmer, gold shimmer. So let's see what we can come up with, okay? Um, well, to start with, I'm going to put on a, like I, what I like to do is put on a base color, and I'm going to use this MAC Vanilla, which is a real light cream. Good base color. So I'm going with a flat brush like I like to do for this base color and pat that all over my lid and all the way up to my brow. And yes, I do wear makeup to Zumba. Normally not this much, but I have taken Zumba instructor training. I'm going to become an instructor. So when I do instruct Zumba, I will have a full face of makeup on like this because Zumba is a party. So I might as well look like I'm going to a party. I'm going to put extra of this creamy white on my lids because these bold colors I put down on my lids, I want them to really pop. Well, I went to the Ulta store, and, which is my favorite store, by the way, Ulta. That's where I buy all my beauty products, the majority of them. I do go to beauty brands and some of the other department stores. But anyway, I went to Ulta and I found this green, which is called Key West. That's a great name. So I'm going to start with that green color. And I'm going to take a smaller brush and use this green in the corner of my eye. Right here. And I'm going to put plenty of this on. I have found with these bold colors on these aging skin, thin skin that's crepey, um, the color doesn't last all day long. So I really pack it on when I'm using a, you know these bold colors like this. And I am getting some fallout down here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will clean that up later. Then I had to go to my old stash to find this other Ulta eyeshadow trio that I found this and that's got some great peacock colors in it. I'm gonna go with that middle color. It's a nice uh, I would say turquoise color. So another small brush. Let's find that. This one will work. I'm using a small brush so I can control the color this is, these are very bright colors. And then for the corner, I'm going with that darkest blue. And put that here on the corner. Okay. I'm going back to this light green. I'm going to put some more in that that light green on in the corner. 
I'm really packing the color on my lid. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm not going to go on the lid but right here in the crease let's, let's just blend that a little bit. Then I'm going to take a little uh, little fluffier brush. I'm going into this purple. I found this purple I had. It's called Wisteria Lane. But any purple will do. And I'm going to go right above that dark color. Those are beautiful colors. They look like a peacock. Back into the darkest blue. I'm going to put some more of that up here over that purple, just on the outer edge. And then blend it with my clean brush. I'm just going to sweep it in. Sweep it in like so. I'm going with another brush. I'm going to go into my Naked 3 palette and use this color Limit which is a real light it's a, a pinky mauve color something just a little warm rosy pink I would say and put that on that and I'm just gonna put a little of that up here way up at the top that's just gonna keep this warm looking Okay, I've got a little fallout from all this bold color. I'm going to take a Q-tip and with my Tarte Concealer I'm just going to take a little of that and clean this up. Get, it, get rid of all that fallout down underneath there. Because I will say those, you know, bright colors like that are, they're kind of, they, they're not kind of, they are hard to control they can get all over so that's why it's good to go with a small brush when you're applying these don't go with your normal fluffy uh, brush like that it's too big you've got to really control the color okay I've got that gone now hopefully I can keep it out of there but I am going to add those same colors now underneath my eye but this time with a very small brush Anyway, it's the smallest brush I have. And I'm going into that first color, the green, that I put here. And put that on that little brush and run it down underneath my eye. And then, if you've watched my tutorials, then we'll go to the next color, which is that turquoise color. I like to put whatever color I put up here I like to put down here in some fashion so I'm using that same little brush and we'll just add a little here in the corner go about halfway and because I'm looking in this viewfinder it's pretty tough to put uh, that color underneath my eyes so I've got too much but I'll wait and clean that up here in a second because I'm going to go with that darkest blue then and do the same thing only right here in the corner I'm only going that far and then I can run it up into that V this dark V that we got going on there I'll take my clean brush and again blend that real dark blue but I'm not going like this I'm just doing the in like that because again these colors are hard to control if I go like that I'm gonna have that clear over here I'll go back with another q-tip I'm using my concealer but you could use your foundation uh, whatever you like to clean this up and I've rubbed some of that foundation off doing that so I'm going back to my foundation put a little on a beauty sponge and add it back in these beauty sponges are great for cleaning up messes and little odds and ends like that 
Okay, so if I really wanted to amp this up, say I'm going out somewhere where the lights are low, I could add a little shimmer up here, and I could use my um, Naked Palette 3 again, this dust color right here. The goldy, glittery, anything gold, glittery, and just tap a little of that on. Not very much. Just so we have a little shimmer. Okay, now I'm ready for eyeliner. And I have been using the Tarte liquid eyeliner that uh, Tarte just came out with. I think I have the packaging here. Yeah, here it is. Tarte comes in this little uh, bottle that you squeeze. And then it comes with this angled brush. And you can really get detailed. I'm really loving this product. Because pencils I've used before... And with my aging skin, it wants to move all over the place. First of all, it's hard to get on because it looks kind of jaggy. And secondly, it doesn't last throughout the day. But the liquid, this, lasts all day. And it lasts while I'm working out. It doesn't smudge around. Oh my gosh, I love this. So I'm going to go put this on in my 10 time magnification mirror because I need that to apply this. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I have my eyeliner on, and you can see I can get a really thin line up there, which is what I like to do. I don't want to cover all this up with black, so a nice thin line that liquid eyeliner does. I've got some below here. I went ahead and take this green and put a little here in the corner to brighten up the corners there. So the next step would be to curl my eyelashes, and I'm going to do that down below here in my mirror apply some mascara and today I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash which I love love this stuff curls your eyelashes separates and defines them very nicely okay I've got my mascara on. If we're going to have peacock eyes, we better have some false eyelashes. <laughs> so today I just am using what I have in my drawer, which the brand on this is called Kiss. Kind of a medium, plenty of uh, pizzazz for an evening out. I've got my eyelash glue and what you do is you just put some of that glue on the edge there and if you if you get too much on what I do is I just take a um, one of these q-tip and uh, wipe off the excess and then you want to let that get tacky so just hold it for a little while you could blow on it and then if you want to just apply this with your fingers, you can. If you want to use a tweezer, you can. I'll pick it up with a tweezer just so you show just to show you. And then I just lay it right over the top of my lash and try to keep those right on the top of my lashes and not on the lid. Once you get them on the top of your lid, I usually take a Q-tip like this and just press that down and hold it let it dry same with the other one just try to lay it over the top of your eyelashes takes practice the more you do it the easier it will get So practice before you have to actually wear them. Okay, there we go. I've got the false size lashes on. And I take it back. These are pretty va 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 voom. Yeah, they didn't look so much in the package, but when you get them on, these are very thick, in-your-face false eyelashes. But they go along with the peacock eyes, so there you go. 
the best thing I can say about putting on false eyelashes is take your time, practice, use your Q-tip just to hold that eyelash on until they dry. I don't have this on the best because I'm, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to Zumba. But I wanted to show you what this look would look like with false eyelashes. Okay. There's our peacock eyes. We can do it. Peacock eyes on. An aging lady. I think we can do it. It's all good. Okay, I've taken off the um, false eyelashes because I'm not going to wear them to the gym, obviously. Although I have seen some people do that. Um, but I wanted to show you what the eye makeup would look like without the false eyelashes as well. I hope you like this look. I think the peacock look is cool. I think we can pull it off. I will say it takes extra work working with these bold colors because I just want to go all over the place. I get a lot of fallout down under here, which I just clean up. Like I say, I just keep working on it with my little Q-tips and my beauty sponges until I get it just the way I want it. And you have to have a magnification mirror. It's just required, especially if you want to get re really detailed with these bold colors and, and uh, not have it all mushy. Yeah, that really helps. So I hope you've really enjoyed this peacock look. Let me know in the comments below. And hey, why don't you go out and make somebody's day today? Give them a nice thumbs up. Hello. Fill somebody's bucket up today. Say something nice. I don't care who it is you see throughout your day. Just give them a positive message. Because you know that's what we're here for. I've lived enough life and I've gone through enough crap in my life that, you know, it's just, um, we just don't have time to sweat the small stuff. Life's too precious. Let's be positive, uplifting, happy. So go out and spread a, a beautiful message, a positive message. Fill somebody's bucket up. That's what we're here for. I hope you have a great day and this has been a really fun peacock tutorial. I like it because I'm a peacock. Look at my headband, it even matches. All right, we'll see you in the next video. And oh, by the way, would you please subscribe to my channel? Yeah, I would like that. Okay, see you soon. Bye.